Lay down the Hi! Bar. Today we're going to show you how to make cheesy apple rolls. Perfect to pack up and take on a picnic. Have we washed our hands? Yes. yes. Brilliant. And we've washed our fruit and vegetables as well. So we've got some spring onions and apple. We've got some reduced fat mayonnaise, some white rolls and some reduced fat cheddar cheese. What you'll need is a chopping board, a mixing bowl, a grater, a wooden spoon, some measuring spoons, a sharp knife and a pair of scissors. Right girls, you ready to start? Yes. Let's get going. So Madalena, I'd like you to start with this spring onions. Okay. There we go. Madalena is going to chop the spring onions with the scissors. This is a really good technique to get them really small and more controlled than using a knife. Sometimes spring onions can be a bit slippy or and so are other vegetables too. And it gives her a chance to really grip the vegetable and snip through at the same time. Meanwhile, Liberty's going to chop the apple down the sides until she's just left with the core, using the skill she's already learnt. It's always best to chop with the hand that you write with. Yeah. So Liberty's chopping with her right hand right now. The best grip for using something of a bigger frame or anything when you're wanting to slice is the claw. This keeps your fingers out of the way. Keep the fingers nice and close together. We've got a nice flat bottom. This is to help stabilise. And we can just chop straight down. Mind about, there we go. Take off the corner, rotate it, and chop down again. I'll leave it to you, Liberty, okay? How are you doing, Madalena? Good. Good. If you've mastered the scissors, you might want to have a go with the knife, just like Madalena's doing here. That's it, you chop off the long roots, that's it, perfect. So this is a really good moment to pause, just so that you can get these little bits chopped through and done, ready for your next part. Right, the next bit we're going to need to do is actually grate the apple to make it into smaller, easier pieces to eat for our rolls. So, in which direction do we grate? From bottom to top or top to bottom? Top to bottom. Top to bottom. And we're going to take the larger side, just so that it gives us a bit of texture into our cheesy rolls. There we go. Never grated an apple. You've never grated an apple? There's lots of ways you can use grated apples in recipes. So the safest way to actually grate the apple is to make sure that your fingers are all awake. And if you feel unsure, move on to the next piece. There we go, just like that, Liberty. Okay, and then we'll go to the next piece, so we save our fingers. We've kept the skin on because it gives a lovely, lovely colour through the sandwich as well. The next part we need to add to this mixture is some mayonnaise. This will help bind the apple and the cheese together. We're using reduced fat mayonnaise. This means our filling will be healthier than using the full fat kind. Madalena, I'd really like you to put one tablespoon in here for me. If that's okay, give it a squeeze under the spoon. Fabulous, that's brilliant. Pop the top on, there we go. And you can tip it in for me. Ready to go. This pack comes in a 400 gram size. We only need 100 grams, so there's a really good little trick. All you have to do is cut it into quarters. So that's what I'm going to get Liberty to do now. There we go, look at there, there's the apple ready. There we are. Move this to the side, Liberty. And can you do me another one, please, then, Madalena? Okay. That's great. Let's open this up. There we go. And then what I need you to do is cut it in half and then cut one of the halves into another half, making it a quarter. There we go. And again, we're using reduced fat cheese. This will make our filling healthier than using full fat. How are we doing? Fabulous, thank you so Spoon much, Madeline. Stuff. That's all right. Well, we can use the spoon, can't we, just to tip it out. Combine the spring onions and the mayonnaise for me. And I'm going to put the apple in. There we go. Liberty, you're going to grate that piece of cheese, is that right? Fab. So, Madalena, do you want to try a bit of the spring onion? Tell me what it tastes like. Okay. Wow, that's a big bit. You're all brave. It tastes lovely, doesn't it? It's quite a mild onion, actually. Gives that lovely, delicate flavour. Well done. Fantastic. That's enough there, then, Yay. Liberty. Oh, wow. <laughs> do you want to finish that last piece off? You can eat it if you want. Mm, of course you can. Yeah, they're the best bits. Always finishing off the last bits when you've been cutting or slicing. Let's put some of this in as well. There we go. Madalena, can you give it a mix through for me? 
That's it, give it a mix through, make sure that mayonnaise keeps them all sticky together. There is one, two, I've got a bread knife for you, three and four. As an adult, I'm going to slice through these because it's a rather large knife. There we go, there's one. Two. Thank you, Madalena, that's brilliant. Nice. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? Nice big blob. Nice big blob, indeed. I'm going to get the girls now to do two rolls each. Liberty, if you can actually fill two for me, divide the mixture into two, oh. and then there's half left for Madalena as well. It looks pretty, doesn't it, with all the yeah. apple in? Makes you want to eat it even more. You can use the knife, look. So I'll help you. Yeah. There we go. Keep going. Around the other one. Good girl. Well done. That's fantastic work. Well done. So, and now I have my carrier bag because we're going to take these on our picnic shortly. In you go. Goodbye. Nice and tight. There we go. Zip it up and we're ready to go for our picnic. Did you enjoy that? Yes. Yeah, you did some brilliant chopping. Well done and some great grating too. If you'd like to have a go at making another recipe, there are more cook-alongs for you to explore. We'd love to see what you've made. Take pictures and tweet them to at 